how to fail at making mobile applications. Keep watching tutorials and never try any project, not even a simple project. That's the easiest way to fail. But somehow, let's say that you are smart enough to escape the tutorial hell and you created a project. First tip I would give is don't structure your project. Keeping a structured folder and files make it easier to navigate through code, identify relationships, and it's a cleaner way of doing things. So try your best not to do that and put all the files in the same directory. Who cares? Keep multiple classes in the same file and you have to make sure that no one understands what you have written. Your code, your way. Perfect. Now we are talking. So let's say that if you manage to create an app, make sure that your user experience is very, very difficult. Let the UX designer keep saying that quick action button should be in the bottom or with floating action button. But what you have to do, you have to put it on the upper right corner. Difficult to reach on mobile devices or better, I would say, put it inside a context menu. Love it. Important thing comes with a great effort. Let the user do some work and surely it will help you to fail as a mobile app developer. But let's say that your designer convinced you to keep the design consistent. But remember, you have the wheel of the board. Make your splash screen too fancy. Why not? After all, you have some skills of animation and this is the right time to showcase it. If animation is not enough, put some videos, let it play completely and let the user wait. Even though if you don't have any important task to do in the background, just put some delay loading the main content. That's how it's done. If you follow along, I can rest assured that you will succeed in failing great app development. Because you are still here, I think I should provide you with some other great tips. Don't like or subscribe. Because on this channel, we upload tutorials, tips and tricks, code practices. So you have to completely ignore the subscribe button. The black rounded box button. Don't look for it. Making a great app is all about keeping the user updated about situation. So if user is filling a form, don't give any hint how they are supposed to enter data. And never ever highlight any input field if it's left empty. Let the user find it out themselves. Because if you will put all the efforts, then what user will do? Be lazy. That's the trick. And if you happen to work on application where you need to fetch information from internet, don't use shimmer effect because everybody is using it nowadays. Keep it classic with circular loader all over the places. Old is gold and that will help you to reach your goal. Old gold goal. Yep. Perfect rhyme. Now this one is for pro developers. If you use proper feedbacks on tap with ripple effect or you use haptic feedback whenever necessary, then stop doing it because all these small details leads to a great user experience and makes users love your app. So avoid it at all costs. Also using color combination for different status values and making use of custom components like chart or progress indicator helps user to understand the data quickly. So what you have to do, you have to use text everywhere. Let the user read it. If it's a time taking process, it's their problem. You did your job throwing text data on them. So the user is dumb. Just move on. And I'm quite sure that you also have some great tips how to fail as a mobile app developer. Feel free to mention in the comments below and make sure to stay away from like and subscribe button. I hope this video will help you to succeed in failing. Bye.